maps. When the spherical earth is drawn to a scale on a paper or on any plane surface, it is called a map. The surface of the earth and its various geographical features can be shown fully or partly in maps. That means either the whole world or a country or a state or a small region can be shown on a map. Maps are of many types. Some maps show political divisions only. They are called political maps. Landforms like mountains, plateaus and plains are shown in some maps. Such maps are called physical maps. Maps show location of different places and the distribution of various geographical features. Many features are shown in every map. Map scale To show various geographical features of a region as they are on a map, we need a plain paper of the same size equal to the dimensions of that particular region. As it is a difficult task, maps are drawn by reducing the actual distances. For example, a distance of 1 km between two places can be reduced and shown as 1 cm on a map. This reduction or ratio is known as the scale of that map. The scale of a map is shown either in a statement form or as a line scale or both ways. Cardinal points Some of the features of a town are shown in the map. An arrow mark is shown on the top right hand corner and a letter N is shown at the top of that arrow mark. That is, the edge of the arrow mark indicates the northern direction. The direction directly opposite to the north is called the south. Right side of the north-south line is the east and the left side is the west. All other directions can be easily identified if the north direction is known to us. In the same way, if we know the four cardinal points, it is easy to know other four directions, also which are in between them. Based on this knowledge, we can understand the directions in which various places are located in relation to one another. Conventional signs Different features of earth surface like railways, roads, villages, towns, rivers, canals, tanks, dams, post offices, agricultural lands, rest houses, etc. are shown in maps by various symbols. These symbols are known as conventional signs. Once we know all the conventional signs, we can easily understand any map like a book.